Hey there guys, welcome back. It's uh, King Swad here, playing Fascist Romania in Hearts of Iron 4. So we're just gonna load this game back up and uh, get going. Uh, we're justifying war goals against uh, Yugoslavia. So we still look good. They, uh, they haven't been guaranteed independence by anybody. We can just just sneak in there and steal them away from Italy and uh, we'll piss off the Italians even though we're going to be allied with them. But uh, yeah, it's going to be all good. So just a quick recap, or not, Ilya Earhart disappears, lost for aviation, or did she really disappear? Or is she living it up living the high life somewhere on some little island? Alright, quick recap. Infrastructure effort focus. Global defense, improved machine tools, electro electronic mechanical engineering uh, for research. So infrastructure effort just finished. Leadership purchase in the Soviet Union, because that's always a good thing. It's good for us, but uh, <laughs> not the guys that got purged, obviously. If they did it like you know, the movie The Purge, you know, for twelve hours. All crime is legal. Okay, Marco Polo Bridge incident. That's the little instant uh, the Japanese used to basically justify killing Chinese. Finished improved machine tools. Boosts our production cap a little bit, which is good. Gonna go, uh... Now, you know what? We're going to go with excavation. Probably should do construction, but we don't really have much to construct right now. Yeah, no, we're good. Actually, we're gonna check out some stuff here and see. Nationalist Spain took seven states, Republican Spain was annexed. And they secured 744 equipment. Cool. Just the end of the Spanish Civil War notification. Let's go uh, have a look there. Wow! We can't build anything anywhere. Wow. That's kind of crazy. We have no room to build anything. It's going to make things difficult when uh, trying to fight Russia. I've still only got the 20k manpower, but I haven't changed any of the laws yet. Oh, we're still chugging away. Let's see here. Shit. Okay. Cancel justification. There we go. That's not good. Damn you, Britain. Damn you. Now we gotta go back to my normal plan. Just go after Hungary. I should've just stuck with them all along. There we go. Let's just delete all these. Um... Yeah, we'll clear this guy's here. Alright, so that's basic. That's electronic mechanical engineering. Okay, so that speeds up research a little bit. Uh, should we do the radio? Yeah, I think we're gonna do the radio. Just get that out of the way. What we're gonna do with this guy is. Along the border. I say, so, you know what? We're gonna put them in Greece. Just so I don't trust the Greeks. Whenever we go to war. Actually, it's not the Greeks. It's always Italy. It's always Italy's fault. The uh, Greeks attack me. So Japanese build up a Chinese border. Basically, you know, world tensions rising. Japan wants to get some territory. So we're getting ready to get some territory. Infrastructure efforts. And there goes the war. China and Shanxi. So, China, the giant that it is, and Shanxi. Now, Japan, I've seen get clobbered quite a few times in this game. Um, just fighting China, and it's really hit or miss. Uh, 
I suppose, you know, like I could probably send volunteers or something, but I got things to do. You know, I got people to kill. Countries to conquer. I want to take Hungary. To give us that extra little bit of uh, territory. Do one small little river crossing there. Oh, time to modify the government again. Uh, hard to say what we should do. Infantry, special forces. Uh, we're definitely gonna go infantry. Never hurts. And since that's mainly what our army is made up of right now, is like infantry. Yeah, we get a little bit of cavalry. One tank brigade. Just no manpower, and that's part of the problem. Uh, what do we have here? Third River Crossing. Again. Infrastructure effort too. Excellent. It really announces claims on Yugoslavian territory, so it'll always get ready to do their thing. Go with doctrine effort. Yeah, might as well. Let's check our production. We're meeting all of our needs, which is good. That's really good. Motorized is taking a while. Kind of awkward. Alright, so let's see. It's my own country. Someone can declare war in Hungary here. It's 29th March, 1938. So it's coming. It is coming. Pretty much, uh... It's flat terrain, so I don't really need the mountain units over there. Might need them just to reinforce somewhere. This guy's got a lot of units. Holy crap. Holy crap. This is actually going to be quite a fight. I wasn't planning on this. That river crossing. Uh, increase motorized production. So there's excavation one. Just a few more resources. And now we're going to look first industry. That way when we get bombed later by the Allies, at, uh, or Russia, uh, it won't really matter. Well, it will matter, which is not as much. You know what, I'm going to need all these guys up there. So, oh shit, I just disbanded them all? I did. Wow, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, what else do we need here? So we've still got the Doctrine research going. Not going to bother with radar yet. Let's see about military equipment. 1938, yeah, there we go. Give us a little bit of an edge. So, put these guys back in an army. This dude. And where is this river crossing? Is it the whole way? I can't see because of the tag. Where is this the river crossing? I don't You know what? Actually, no. We're gonna extend them one more, and then we're gonna go right to here, with them. and that should give some extra push up there. So it's February, and in March we can go to war. And there goes Germany taking Austria. And we just got our doctor in effort. We're gonna go for an extra research slot right now. Research in this game is always useful. So the more you can do, the better. They have a lot of units. I really hope I don't get my butt kicked. It's a superior enemy. I'm still preparing. So we lose the points up here. The river up here. So there is no river here. Alright, so now do we do dispersed support or integrated support? So this is basically the line that you go for your support elements, uh, not the ones that are actually put in like the main area of your units. Um, dispersed, so like line artillery, so an actual artillery unit. Uh, so yeah, we don't have anything like that, so we're just going to go with dispersed support right now. Support unit 
element thing. Uh, let's see. We're still building some anti-aircraft. Good. Oh, we're just building some infrastructure. And, uh, hopefully... <laughs> still no room to do it. Excellent. Glad that's changed. But hey, we're up to 69 uh, convoys now. Just really quickly. Let's see if we can't edit some of these. Recon. Support. And. Get artillery. Already got uh, engineers. Let's go. Field hospital. Recon. There we go. See how that goes. Probably it's a little bit too late. Just pause this again here while we. Uh, Military staff. Uh, special forces. So because we have some mountain units, we're gonna go ahead and do that. There's justification for war. Excellent. So I'm really short on support equipment. That's great. Make sure that these guys aren't backed by anybody. Alright. Here we go. This is gonna be interesting. I think we have the same numbers. Alright guys, so... Air war. Air. Now at war. And we will send both of these guys on the attack. And really hope that stuff happens here. Good stuff happens. Well, we took one province up here already. The extra research slot that we need. Um, so we're not really focused on aviation yet. Let's go. Never. And obviously, Germany and Italy aren't back in May because it's fascist on fascist violence here. So now, we already got our good arty, well, our better arty, sorry. Um, uh, you know what, support, it's definitely support. Got another factory, it's always good. Now we're running out of steel, that's not always good. But you know what, how many factories we got? 11. So, let's go talk to Germany, get a bit more steel. Equipment production fighters. <laughs> we do not have air superiority there. Did I even set it? We have air superiority down here. I think we have it up here. And that explains that. So here we go, and uh, let's see what our <laughs> interwar fighters can actually do. This should be amusing. They've got 50 plus fighters, 47. We're actually, uh, we were doing good. That's a shame. If only I had some fighter production. Okay, well it looks like we are actually doing okay moved in about two provinces and up north. We only moved down here though. Oh, just lost ground down here. That's not good. What do we need? So we're not needing for anything other than the support equipment. Oh, we lost our manpower. That's bad. This might be the end of things, guys. Oh, we just did a big push down south. Go. go, we can do this. Got some more research coming here with some of our doctrines. It should help. Really hoping this does. If we can get them to fold. 
I slow down the battle a little bit. Uh, improve military equipment. Excellent. That should help. Gives us a little bit of a bonus. So yeah, everybody gets plus 5%, which is make or break in this game. Um, I'm not going to bother doing any of those. I am just going to do fighter. No, you know what? We're not going to bother. We have bigger things to worry about. Uh, let's go with construction. No. Let's see if we can keep making these little advances. This will go well. For some reason, there's two blue colored lines. Okay. That's going to change because that's getting really confusing. No. So why are you guys way down here? Let's see if that helps at all. Lack of manpower really worries me. I think this board needs to be wrapped up sooner rather than later. Uh, manpower shortages. Oh, we get an ace pilot promoted. That's kind of good. We've uh, got four planes left. No retreat. Yeah, we're just going to keep going. And uh, they don't look to have too many left either. It would give them air superiority though with seven. It's kind of a shame. But uh, hell yeah, we got an ace. There's equipment effort. Alright, should have done this a while ago. <laughs> Definitely need that manpower. Never thought, actually. Just got too carried away and trying to uh, do all these other focuses to try and get my industry up. Let's have a look at these guys here. Some of them are in rough shape. Cavalry unit's almost gone. Which is a shame because they're regular. Oh, this is so bad. Come on, guys, you can do it. Yes! Yes! Go, push. Go for Budapest. Go. You can do it. You can do it. Yes, push here. Good. Good, good. Look, okay, eight units here. If only I could get like a little encirclement somewhere. This is interesting, this guy, this, this army's line just went down to one square, even though pushed. Oh, who knows? This game can be a little bit wonky sometimes. Okay. I'll tell you, those 70 days can't go by quick enough. We need some manpower. I don't even think that one gives me manpower. Uh, nope, no, it doesn't even give me manpower yet. I need militarism. I'm hoping, guys. I'm hoping this war could be over pretty soon. Oh, let's check how many... I've lost 67,000. So we have a deficit of about 40,000 right now that we need to replace. Almost 50,000. He's lost 231,000. So I think it's basically who's going to bleed who dry first. Um, okay. Some terror, because... can't really do anything else with those guys. And there we just got an overrun up here where he lost, I don't know how many units, I think it was a couple. That could be wrong. Uh, has to go here. Push there. We're just gonna get them to go. No waiting, just go. So he's falling back a little bit. He's trying to hold this line here. Good. I think these guys are falling back. Yeah, looks like we're gonna take this uh, province. We're gonna be right outside Budapest, and then it's really gonna be cracking the uh, shell to get to the nut. And Budapest itself is the nut. And the divisions they've got there, holy moly. On 70 days, do it. Look at this. 
going for it. We're going for it. Oh my god, I hope they capitulate after that. 79, 80. Stuck at 80, 81, 82. It's trying to bring more divisions in. Let's have a look. So the, they've got the boost from enemy air superiority. Just do this really quickly. Keep it going. More dispersed industry. So this organization is some of his units is worse than mine. I've just got sheer numbers. Um, two of his units are pretty rough shape. 54% strength, 51% strength. So I've got a lot of a lot more strength in my unit. Not a lot of organization, but a lot of strength. Or cavalry unit though with 20% strength. 37% strength. They're really uh really taking a beating. Alright guys, so uh, unfortunately that is about uh, time. I'm going to have to stop this episode here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, like, subscribe, favorite, and uh, please come back for more. I'll be progressing with the series until Romania doesn't exist, or we rule a large chunk of the world. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, bye.